Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. Now some people say, well, I, I don't know about the church. I, I don't really like the church. I don't want to be a part of the church. There are so many hypocrites in the church. Hey, there's always room for one more. Now come on, let's be honest. These are excuses that we often use. Uh, some people will say, when I go to church, I feel like people are judging me. Let me say something some of you may not like. Maybe you need to be judged a little. You want to meme in the Bible says, judge not, lest you be judged. Everyone knows that verse. Very few people understand that verse. When Jesus said, judge not, lest you be judged, he was not saying we should not make evaluations or judgments, if you will. The better translation would be condemn not lest you be condemned. If you went to a church and you were condemned or rejected, I apologize. That is not a representative of Jesus Christ, a good representation of Jesus Christ. But having said that, if you went to a church and you were living outside of the will of God, or you were engaged in some sinful activity, and some Christian had the courage and the love to confront you, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Because the Bible says, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. You see, when you love someone, you'll tell them the truth. Because the Bible also says, open rebuke is better than secret love. A true friend will tell you the truth. You know, if you're wearing the worst outfit of all time and you ask your friend for their uh, opinion and they tell you the truth, don't wear that or hey man, you got a, stu a stain in the middle of your shirt. That's a true friend. That's a good thing, you see. And a true Christian friend will say, you shouldn't be living that way. You shouldn't be doing that thing you're doing. You shouldn't be saying those things you're saying because I love you. See, we could use a little judgment of that kind. And the Bible says judgment begins at the house of God. See, the church is a place to be accountable. Maybe that's why we don't want to be in a church. We don't want someone to hold us accountable, but it's good to be held accountable. This is one reason why people church hop. Oh, I, I don't go to that church anymore. I you know, I don't like what people said to me. Now I go to this church, but I'm leaving this church in, in a week and I'm going to another church. Always changing, never getting stabilized. I heard about a guy who was stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean. For months he was there. And finally, people were made aware of him being on that island and they came to rescue him. And they saw that this man had built actually three buildings. And so they said, wow, these are very impressive buildings. Tell us about them. He says, well, the first building, that's my home. That's where I live. Oh, what's this building right behind you? Oh, that's my church. Well, there's another building behind that. What is the third building? Oh, that's a church I used to go to. See, that's how some people are. They won't get stabilized in one place with one group of believers, but it's so important to do that.